Rolling right along with Review of Palooza here on the final cut. Hope you've been enjoying these so far. Got one for you here. It was a sneak peek at the Midwest Weird Fest uh, at the beginning of March. Like, this wasn't considered the world premiere. This was like a, a viewing before what was considered the world premiere. So we were very privileged to catch the film Everyone is going to die at the Midwest Weird Fest 2024. A director, uh, Craig Atui, and it gives us a story of a Daniel and Imogen, a father and daughter who are having troubles. He, he had a rocky marriage, not exactly. Uh, he got a bit of a temper. His uh, daughter, who's a teenager, is just having a rough time with this as well. But she comes over to spend the weekend with him for her birthday, and uh, he's kind of mishandling this uh, and, and not doing too well trying to patch things and connect with his daughter. But things go from bad to worse when their home is invaded uh, by two uh, women who are hell-bent on providing uh, to getting some kind of justice and torment Daniel, but we're not sure what. And as the film plays out, we learn more and more of the dynamic between uh, the two home invaders. Uh, dark secrets are revealed about Daniel, and it is an event that is for sure going to change uh, their relationship from uh, that point on as things are revealed by these two home invaders. Uh, wow, I, you know, home invasion genre is a little hard to do a twist on. It's been quite popular over the years. And I'm going to say when everyone is going to die, first starts out, it feels a bit like your standard home invasion film. Your home invaders are a little... You know, uh, they they don't seem to be exactly all there. Uh, and yeah, so, it, 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 and trying to figure out what exactly they wanted. Was it money or whatnot? As things unfold, the audience is kind of with Daniel on that and Imogen on, on like, why are these people actually just breaking into this guy specifically's house? Uh, now, uh, the two home invaders are named Comedy and Tragedy, and I loved that. Not only because it was fitting with the masks that they wore when they broke in, but also their personalities. Comedy is played by uh, Jamie Winstone, who was having a blast in this role. You can tell she was all in and kind of got this, uh, edge, this psychotic edge to her and uh, devotion uh, to uh, her partner. And it, there's a lot of layers to her, more than I expected with that. Tragedy, her partner, is played wonderfully by uh, Chiara uh, Deanna, and I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, she was wonderful here. Didn't say a lot of lines at the beginning when we first introduced to her. So it gives this kind of air of mystery to her. And then as things move on, we get more revealed about her and just a great performance by her. Brad Moore plays Daniel, a character you're just going to love to not love. And he, he really is in, in solid performance. Well, you feel though, you feel for him trying to connect with his daughter and regretting some of his choices. Though uh, <laughs> you get a specific impression of him when you're first introduced to his character, but we learn that there's a little bit more to him than that as things play out. And Imogen, played by uh, uh, Glazdilza Arthur, uh, she was uh, fantastic too as the daughter, the teenager who's just trying to, uh, you know, figure things out. She loves her dad, but is angry at her dad. <laughs> and, you know, she, seeing her arc really was interesting and man it ends the last like 15 minutes of this film are going to be tough to watch for many reasons especially when you figure out the uh context of everything going on yeah uh, so there you have it, folks. Everyone is going to die is a home invasion film you should keep your eye out for. It might feel like a standard by the numbers things, but as things progress, you're going to realize this is a different film. And by the end of it, I think you're going to have a lot to think about and talk about with your friends who watch it with you. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that bells and whistles here. I thank you for your support. Support indie horror. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.